to another fancy football video on Sky. We're back. It's been a while since the last revision and preview. I was going to make this episode a couple of days ago. Forgot. Keep forgot. Keep forgetting. Um, I've made it today anyway, so we'll get straight into it. It's been a long time since we've done a fancy football video. And as I said, I thought I might go into the international break with maybe eight, possibly nine transfers. I'm down to seven. We'll have to go through that in a minute. Second team not doing too bad either. Um, still in that about 10,000th. We pretty much stayed where we were, I think, from where we left off last time. Um, well, it's, got, it's a long time. It's been a long time. Um, I think we last did a video after the... Hmm, I don't actually know. Might have been this game. I think it was before these games here, yeah. So I think I did. I think it was before... It was game week 30, which is, is ages. feels like ages ago now. So I'm, we'll have to talk through what happened. Um... With all the transfers and stuff. This team, I'm not sure what I quite did, to be honest. Um, we'll have to have a look. Um, so we go back to game 30. Game 30. Yeah, I made three transfers. I got De Gea, Ronaldo and Weghorst all out, goddamn. Um, yeah, Ronaldo, I think I got out because he was, didn't play against City or something. Yeah, and then I think I put in Son, which didn't go too badly. Um... Yeah, so that's how that team left off. We don't really care about this one. Coutinho had a madness that week. Uh, brought Saka in that week as well, obviously. For the Watford game. That was good. Good bit of business there. Um, Saka's been brilliant for Arsenal and in fantasy football terms as well. Did all right against um, Leicester as well. Not too shabby. Um, yeah, it's, it's been an interesting week. This was a big week, sort of, because um got... 17 points off these two here, old Van Dyke, and I got 20 off the port because he got two, two tens and a five. Um, I can't, I don't, I'm really lost on on, on the, all the fixtures at the minute, but yeah, that this team's sort of stay where it is, and the and the first team has as well, really, to be honest. Um, if we go back the the game week 30, I have to talk you through what happened. I made four transfers this week. It was a madness. Um, I went. Oh, don't tell me Trent's injured. Oh, only well. I've got, well, I don't have him anymore. Um, I'll have to get through that in a minute. Um, so I think I got Ramsdale in for Pope, um, which is ironic because I might have to do that transfer back out to him in a minute. Um, I did Bowen out, I think, for Willock, which hasn't really paid off. I mean, he played against Everton, thankfully, and got a decent four points, which is all right. Didn't play against Chelsea, though, so that was annoying. Um, but I got him in for the Southampton game, didn't do a lot. Gal Kilman, I think, for Thiago Silva. That did not pay off either. We'll talk about why in a minute. Uh, I'd, I'd caught him for Norwich. Didn't even keep a clean sheet. I was absolutely horrific. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else happened, really. Uh, I think that's the four transfers I made, anyway, yeah. Um, and I think, yeah, Ronaldo out for Kane, obviously, who did, did very well against um, Everton there with a juicy couple points there. Um, so that was a good week for... That was a, that was an all right week. I think I, I think I was in dropped down to about two thousandth at one point. But I mean, it all it all went wrong on this Sunday here, wherever it is. Yeah, but Chelsea, Newcastle, it all went wrong. Um, we'll have to have a look. Game thirty one. Here we go. Yep, yeah. I had to get in Rudiger. I I don't know. I I I got out Silver, and I thought that was the smart thing to do. But I've seen that loads of people have actually kept him, so I'm not sure if that was the smart decision now. But I got out Silver for some reason. That was a really wasted transfer there. I should have just made one transfer, so I should be on eight, really. And, um, yeah, I'm, that's the transfer I made that week, and that was the last one I, I did make. Oh, I was going to make, anyway. Um, so, yeah, getting rid of Grimm was a good just choice, though, because he got simple eight points against Newcastle. Got robbed in that game, but, you know. Willock didn't play, as I said. Uh, Rafinha got eight points against Norwich and missed the Wolves game. Ramsdale did well against Leicester, 12 points overall, because he got another extra point against Liverpool there, which is not amazing, but, you know. Um... Salah, I rightfully captain Kane on the uh, Wednesday night there because Salah did not play. He did, well, he came on off the bench, but it was worth putting my captain on Kane because he got um, a goal and, and man of the match and some shots. So that was a good decision. Kane's been good, obviously. Uh, Broja has been really disappointing. This this could be a long episode talking about everything what's happened. Oh, it's all gone. It's all gone. It's all gone horribly wrong. It's gone pear shaped. Um, since I've brought Brozier in from the Norwich game, two, 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 one. It's not been good. It's not been good. But he has got a captain game coming up in Burnley soon, so we might 
We might keep him, we might not, but I'm not sure. Uh, Gallagher somehow got four points against City, got man of the match. That was a bit controversial because they did get it to the goalie at first and they changed it to uh, Gallagher um, on Sky Fantasy Football, which is weird. Uh, Cancelo was my captain that night, paid off. Some people got him out, to be fair. Um, they brought him out because it was, it, was it was like a sort of injury doubt or I think it was an illness doubt. He still played, got 13 points, very good from him. And Laporte, obviously, still getting those decent points. Alexander Arnold got 14 points for me that week, two clean sheets. Not too shabby. Um, yeah, midfield has not been good this for the last couple of weeks. Um, and overall, just really, yeah. Um, game week 32, we have to have a look now. Um, yeah, it was it was an interesting. Game week 32, obviously, only had four games. I only had, like, two players. Or I had two players. Ramsdale. Oh, God. Um, Ramsdale did not play. He got injured, didn't he? Um, and then I thought, well, what am I going to do? Um, Trent got... Trent's got a hamstring injury. He's not in the England squad, but you know, you know what Klopp's like. He'll probably come back and play against Watford now, which will be very disappointing. Um, so I made the management decision I'm, on that Wednesday night as well. I Rafinha didn't play. I was like, oh, do I get anybody out in or out? I was gonna put in Nevers to be honest. I was going to because I saw loads of other people. Are. And then last minute, I thought actually just look, check the yellow cards. It's on nine yellows, not worth it. Ruben Nevers also got injured in that game, so it was a very good decision to not put him in. And uh, yeah, Bakayo Saka. Put him in for Trent, very good. Got the goal and man of the match, uh, 22 points. So it was a transfer that had to be made, it was worth it, worth the while. Um, only seven left going for the rest of the season, and yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Um, yeah, this team didn't do much. I was transferring Cody for Kilman, that did not pay off. That was a waste of time, he got zero, zero points overall. Coutinho, I captained Coutinho for some reason over Saka, I just thought it was a bit of a differential, but I think Coutinho was kept quiet by Arsenal. And uh yeah, Son did in pretty well against um um West Ham didn't he two goals, not too shabby. Uh seventeen points, so yeah, he was the better Spurs player that day, but yeah, he sort of saved that team there. But yeah, going into the next cup round of fixtures we've got um some interesting games coming up. We'll go for the stats first and the leagues first. We'll talk about what's the plans for the rest of the season because it's all I've I've need a little break to be honest to think about it all, but it's, it's not gone too well. So yeah, um, I was down to like fiftieth at one point. I've got but I've got back up into thirty eighth, which is pretty good. I'm pretty happy where I am at the minute. It could have gone worse. I think I've kept up with um top two k, which is right. If I finish top two k realistically this season, I'm very happy. Top fifteen hundred, amazing. I don't think I'll quite break into the top k one thousand because I haven't got enough transfers left. I don't think um. Let's, leave, let's have a look at the guy who got the, he's got one of the best teams. Yep, got Kamara. Interesting. Um, he's doing very well against Everton. Actually, he's playing playing well for the team, even though he got beat. That was very sad. Should not have lost that game. Um, this guy must have had Coutinho. Yeah, that's not what he paid off for him. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a look at the stats. Actually, it's probably better. So, team of the week for game week thirty two. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> both the both the Tottenham players. No other ones though. Gabriel up there with the clean sheet for Arsenal and Bakal Saka obviously getting his getting his goal. What a man, what a man. Um Yeah, but it's been it's international break at the minute, so hopefully none of my players pick up injuries. There you go. Trent getting transferred out a lot. Nevers, oh what a shame for those people who got him in, God. Look at that. Oh I pulled out until May. Oh, imagine transferring him in. God, what a waste. <laughs> Oh, I dodged a bullet there. I really did dodge a bullet. Bowen's still getting transferred out a lot. Um, yeah, Ramsdale's getting transferred out a lot as well. He, his muscle injury might not. He's been out for a few. He's going to be out for a few weeks. I'm not sure when that is, but I'm probably going to. We'll see what happens with that. I'll have a talk about that in a minute. Actually, we need to because all the fixtures are coming out now for the um, Monday night games and all that stuff. So yeah, but yeah, um, yeah, Son did very well last week. Luke Aylen, James Madison, Frank Cow. Not bad, um, but yeah, it was a small, it was a bit of a blank game because they like to call it, so there wasn't a lot going on. Anyway, I'll go through the plans. Um, going for glory, we'll just we see what happens. I've got 10 transfers, I wish I had 10 transfers in my good team. Um, we'll just see what happens with this team. This will just go, so whatever, whatever happens, happens, you know. We've got, we got a decent few players in there, you know, not too shabby. Um, right, well, let's go for the actual good team, and um. If I want to keep my place in top two k, it's gonna be interesting because it's, it's it's quite hard because there's lots of rearranged games still going on. I mean, we've got a few captain days still going on. I mean, it's it's oh god, it's long. It is long. Um, 
but yeah, my, my plans are sort of, oh, it's, it's hard because Ramsdale, he's, if he's out for that, if he's out for the Palace game, then obviously I don't, obviously it's not that important because I've obviously still got Gallagher and Saka for captain choices, but like, if he misses that, um, I'm probably going to go to Nick Pope in goal because Burnley have obviously got that captain day. I mean, if he's ruled out, I, w- I would transfer Nick Pope in on Saturday, but they have Man City, so I think I might not do that. Um, yeah, I think we'll just leave that there. I mean, Burnley are not playing well at the minute, to be fair. I was looking maybe well at Weghorst up front, but is he even, is he better than Boyle realistically? Uh, we'll have a look, actually. I haven't really looked at fancy football this week for a while. I mean, Brozier has been absolutely shocking recently. He's been awful, but you know, of course, two points all, all, everywhere there. With Nick Pope, you know you're getting saves. You know you're getting saves with Nick Pope. I mean, I mean minus one there. I mean, we don't like to talk about that really. But like, even when he's conceded, he gets, gets man of the match against Leicester there. That was that was mad, really. Um, but yeah, I think I might have to revert back to Nick Pope, really, to be honest. Um, because I need a player. I'm not. I'm not getting an Everton player. They're still playing too badly. Um, but yeah, that's probably who it'll be. Nick Pope in for Ramsdale. So I'll leave him with six transfers. Players that I don't want anymore. I mean, I want I want to keep the Man City defence. I want to keep Rudiger. If, uh, realistically, I'm keeping Rudiger and my back three now to the end of the season. I'm just hoping Rudiger plays most of the games. Um, in terms of my midfield, I don't think Willock will be staying around for long. Neither will Gallagher, probably. Um, he's not been playing that well recently. Gallagher, Gallagher will probably stay in there. He's a good little option at 7.3 million in midfield. He keeps ticking over, always plays. Um, Brozier, uh, he's he's probably going to have to go at some point. I've got quite a lot of money in the bank, though, to be fair. I've got 3 mil in the bank, so we can move him on to somebody. Um, he's sort of good, I hope. So we can get somebody up to about 10 million, which isn't too bad. Um, yeah, obviously no real good premium options. Um that is it. I mean, you never know. You, you, you might get a few goals. You never know. Um, yeah, it's the midfield though, realistically, isn't it? I might, I might go big at the back again. If Trent's back, it might be going back to him. But I can't afford that. Uh, how much is Robertson? Ugh, I'm like two hundred point. Ugh. Can sell it is pretty cheap to be fair. Nine point five. That's a good price. But yeah, that is the plan for this week. Um, we'll we'll have to see. Brozier, he'll have to be moved on at some point. He will have to go. But Ramsdale is looking unlikely to play this week, so it might be a quick Ramsdale to Pope situation there. We'll look at the games, even more games coming up. We've got the obviously uh, Newcastle Wolves game. I'm fingers crossed Joe Willett plays that game. He's all good, fit and healthy for that. Um, yeah, so that's a good little captain option there. Um, a few others actually we've got right down here. Yeah, new, we've got this double game week here for a few. Um, this has been disrupted because of FA Cup games again. So, like, some teams don't even play this week, I don't think. So, the likes of Rafinha, I don't think, don't play that week. No, they don't. If they play the Watford, and they don't play till 23rd. So, yeah, that might be that might be a chance to move him on. Um, Burnley got another captain day there, so that's why Nick Pope is looking very... Um, Considerably a good option there. Um, obviously Man City will have to play. Obviously Chelsea, Palace, uh, all these other teams. Liverpool will have these games to catch up at the end of the season. They haven't been rearranged yet. Um, Arsenal got one of the one in there against Chelsea. That's gonna be our game. But yeah, in terms of yeah, t- captain options, I'm good. I think if I get Pope in, then I'm pretty sorted for captains. Um, but yeah, it's just using the transfers wisely. I was, I'm really disappointed with the transfer I made on Thiago Silva. I was really disappointed about that. And yeah, that's a bit sad. But I've kept my place in top 2k. 1700th overall, just about. Um, Yeah, Kane's been doing well for me. Obviously Salah as well. Can't get him out. Never. Never ever. But yeah, anyway, that's probably going to do it for this week, guys. Um, It's been a, it's been a long episode, I think. Um, It's I had a lot to talk about with what's happened in the last couple of weeks. I haven't done a video for a while. So yeah, anyway. That'll be it for this video, guys. I'll see you for reviews in previews next week. And, yeah, see ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.